Hey guys, Keith here with another edition of the Impact Report. So, much like last week, uh, not too much going on in the world of Impact Wrestling. A few uh, interesting things, though, came up throughout the week. But uh, So last week I spoke about Impact releasing director David Sahadi. Uh, apparently, according to PW Insider, they've brought back Michael Vetter to replace Sahadi as the lead director and producer of television production. So... At least they uh, made a quick replacement, and especially somebody who's familiar with the company. Um, it's also noted in the article that Impact will also be working with uh, Bill Barron's, uh, helping contract a talent get third-party bookings. I believe he's the agent of AJ Styles and a bunch of other big-named uh, independent stars. So apparently, 2018 or I should say in 2018, Impact plans, their biggest goal is to kind of fix that relationship with uh, New Japan. Um, I think this is an absolute fantastic idea and should definitely be one of the priorities for them. Um, they do have a few things in place, definitely, to help the relationship. Uh, I know maybe a couple weeks ago, possibly a month, uh, Scott Demore actually went over to Japan and spoke with people in New Japan, I believe he also apologized to Okada for his treatment during his run in Japan, probably Sonata as well. Um, but now that they have Don Callis working as, you know, an executive uh, VP with Impact, and he still has his commentating job with uh, New Japan, I, I definitely see that helping, as well as Sammy Callahan, who's also, he worked the tag league in New Japan and is a current roster member of Impact Wrestling, so... It's just the small things that I think will start to build up, and I mean, this is going to be a little tough because Impact, uh, not Impact, New Japan still has a working contract with Ring of Honor, and I think Ring of Honor is heavily relying on the uh, New Japan stars as well to keep them uh, as strong as they are, uh, so Impact's going to have a little bit of a tough road ahead of them, but uh, speaking of Japan, apparently yesterday, December 22nd, uh, Kano defeated Eddie Edwards for the GW GHC Heavyweight Championship. Um, so this is an interesting uh, tidbit, considering the fact that Eddie Edwards' contract expires in February with Impact. And since they are working partners with uh, Pro Wrestling Noah, uh, I don't know if this means that Impact has something planned for Edwards or Edwards is out on his way out of the company, since there's been reports of him possibly joining WWE. Um, so obviously right now this is just speculation. Um, I guess I'll keep you guys updated if I hear anything. But just a little bit of a, a little, a little interesting, I should say. Um, now I guess there's some sort of, I don't know if it's distaste or grudge between Pro Wrestling Noah and New Japan, so I think this is another hurdle that Impact Wrestling is going to have to jump over, considering they're currently working with Pro Wrestling Noah. Um, so, another interesting thing is that EC3 apparently filed for his trademark on the name Ethan Carter III on December 15th, so if he is planning on joining WWE when his contract runs out, I'm guessing he's going to bring the name with him. So, yeah, again, it, it's a tough it's tough to say right now what's going on, but it looks like it could be heading in that direction. Uh, so this week's Impact, which was the uh, best of 2017 Part 1, did uh, 269,000 viewers, which is over 100,000 more than last week, but Again, Impact was up against Tribute to the, to the Troops, um, and it ranked 141 on the cable top 150 this week. So I have a feeling that these best of shows are probably going to get a little jump in the normal uh, viewers just because I think a lot of people seem to be very optimistic about Impact uh, in 2018, so they probably want to get familiar with the product and maybe just familiar with names in the company, even though 2017 was the year of people coming and going. So I see that as a positive, though. And uh, last but not least, uh, I saw there was an article that uh, Alberto El Patron was interviewed by the Orlando Sentinel. I guess this was uh, to kind of promote the tapings in January. Uh, so he had an interesting quote here. Uh, it says, 
When there was a talent meeting about what to do about the title, I raised my hand and said I should give it up, said El Patron. Uh, I used to work in a place where main eventers were difficult to work with, and I didn't want to be that person. Here's the title. Give it to someone else. I'll eventually get it back. But I lost it, and I want to earn it. I'll take responsibility for my actions. So that that's very interesting to hear. Um, I think a lot of people thought that he was forced to give it up, but according to this article, he apparently gave it up himself. Uh, he also said that, or also in the article, it said that Alberto will continue to do this for two years, then start to think about retirement. El Patron said, I'm not, I'm not tired of the business or the fans or the ring. What I don't like is what goes on behind the curtain. When I went to Impact, I started to feel like I got my passion back. So I'll wrestle in 2018, then maybe 2019. I'll start to think about a farewell tour. So I guess we have limited time with uh, Alberto. Um, but yeah, that's, that's kind of it for the week. Um, if anything big pops up between now and the episode next Saturday, I will definitely let you guys know. But until then, everybody have a hot, happy holiday, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks, guys. Bye.